Lepone's P8 Mini is a great budget buy and a real rival to the Moto G5, so we were excited to test the standard Elephone P8. But if you were expecting it to be the same thing but more of it, think again. Key differences between the Elephone P8 and Elephone P8 Mini naturally include a larger 5.5 inch screen on this standard model, but it also here has a fully metal build, a faster processor, more memory, a home button with built-in fingerprint scanner, it's on the rear on the Mini, and it's swapped out the dual camera for a 2.1MP monster. You can buy the Elephone P8 from here best for £162.17, €209.99-178.62€. It's shipping from China, so be prepared to pay import duty, 20% of the value on the shipping paperwork plus an admin fee of around £11, and wait a little longer for it to arrive, depending on your choice of delivery option. As with the Mini it supports all three UK 4G LTE bands, so connectivity shouldn't be an issue, but you might like to read up more on the pros and cons of buying Chinese tech. In design, the Elephone P8 and P8 Mini couldn't look more different. In fact, beyond a micro USB port and the fact both lack a notification LED it's difficult to see how the two are related. While the Mini is mostly plastic, the P8 has a fully metal build which means it has also introduced antenna lines on the rear to improve signal. It feels well built, tough enough and with better looking chiseled edges, but it doesn't particularly stand out, especially among all the bezel less phones now coming out of China, see our roundup of the best Chinese phones. Viewed from the front you'll find slightly smaller screen bezels, here just 0.9mm at the sides, but Elephone has removed the capacitive buttons below the screen and implemented a physical home button that has a built-in fingerprint scanner. This single button replaces the usual Android back, home and recent keys, allowing you to access each of those functions with a tap, press and long press respectively. Once you've got your head around the setup it's easy enough to work with. It creates a slightly more iPhone-esque design, as does the mute button you find on the left edge. This is a slider button, push it up and only alarms will sound, so more like the button on iPhones than OnePlus alert slider. Even the volume buttons, here separated rather than a rocker, and SIM tray slot, and the sensor and selfie camera, have switched places on the chassis. And the chassis itself is not thinner as you might expect for a more expensive model, but thicker at 9.5mm versus the Mini's 8.1mm. It's quite a chunk, and a full 5 3G heavier, though the battery has been boosted from 2680 mAh to 3600 mAh. That means things are different at the back, too. On the Mini 